we're going to do a couple of quick outfit changes on our dolls and have a chat about how we maintain the joy in our personal doll collecting hobby, plus discuss some changes we've recently made to our channel. Hi dolly friends, this is Kitty and I'm Tutty. And welcome to Little Bottle Nursery. Our channel is dedicated to our love of dolls and creating fun and positivity in the doll hobby. So stick around and have some dolly fun. Hi Dolly family and welcome to the channel. We've got our Cabbage Patch Kids dolls here today. So stick around to the end of the video to see more. So little Bonnie Belle is going to be the first doll to have her outfit changed. She's still dressed in her festive outfit from Christmas. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love this. Dear Santa, I can explain. Have any of our viewers still have their dollies dressed in their festive outfits? Let us know if you do in the comments. Shortly after Christmas, we left for our beach holiday and didn't have time to change this little missy into something more summery. So I'll quickly go through the details now of her outfit. For our new viewers, Bonnie is a reborn doll and she was reborn by Meg's Reborn Nursery. Totty actually received her as a Christmas gift in 2020. Now I'm going to dress her today in this cute pair of pick uh, jam pants and baby pink with frills and button detail and this gorgeous large satin front bow absolutely love it and then the outfit I'm actually going to complete uh, with this short sleeved white blouse with pink ribbon and slot detailing so that's lovely. There's the slot detailing and I love this frill at the collar. So gorgeous. Love it. So cute. It's from My Fair Baby Boutique. Then I'm going to finish the outfit with this really super cute floral pink headband. She's going to look absolutely gorgeous in this. I'm also going to change little BJ today. He was in this outfit for the Christmas giveaway but I want to put him into a new summer outfit. So I'll just go through the details of that now. So I'm going to dress him in this really sweet romper. It's by Petite Army. It's a primmy size and it's got this really sweet matching bonnet. I love the Peter Pan collar and the button details going to look really smart on him and our reborn toddler Freya she's still in her Christmas dress so I'm going to change her today in this gorgeous butterfly princess dress that we showed you recently in a shopping haul it's really pretty it's got the butterfly design on the front and on the back and it's got this really sweet tie up we had a wonderful time away recently at our beach house. It was super relaxing and we feel totally recharged for the year ahead. Unfortunately, whilst we were away on holidays, we were targeted by some online bullies from the Reborn community. And we wanted to say a big thank you to all our lovely subscribers who reached out to us to support us during that time. It doesn't take a rocket science degree to figure out who the main drama queens are. Just like that classic line from the Harry Potter movie when Professor McGonagall says to Harry and his two friends, why is it when something happens, it is always you three? <laughs> Basically, three negative individuals who enjoy sucking all the fun and joy out of our hobby. So, how do we go about maintaining the joy in our own personal doll collecting hobby? Well, it's pretty simple. We have always been selective about what types of channels we follow and avoid the ones that thrive on drama. So about 99.9% .9 of their nonsense does not even come up on our radar. Blocking and deleting takes care of the rest. It's really a peaceful and joyful existence. Oh, I'm going to have to get Bonnie a little short sleeve onesie. 
she can't be in this long sleeved onesie in the middle of summer. So for any new viewers, there's actually a previous video that you can watch on our channel about the um, incident that I was just talking about. But basically, in a nutshell, there were a group of individuals from the Reborn community who targeted anyone who commented on an Adolly box opening video that was on another channel called Springflower. Many YouTube subscribers who commented on that a dolly box opening video received all sorts of harassment and bullying through their social media platforms from this group of individuals from the Reborn community. And seven YouTube channels, including our channel, were specifically targeted and copped the most amount of hate from these individuals. These online trolls spread false accusations about us, saying that we support counterfeit products. They did so without providing any evidence to support their lies. Our regular viewers, they know this couldn't be further from the truth because you can see very easily, very clearly on our channel that we own authentic Reborn dolls. And in our shopping haul videos, we purchase genuine name brand products for our dolls, often from boutiques, and we support products made and designed in Australia by small business owners. Um, you also see on our channel that we source products where possible that are sustainable or better for the environment. And we're big supporters of thrifting, often purchasing secondhand or pre-loved dolls and accessories. But just because we personally choose to purchase our products this way, we don't have uh, an unrealistic ideology that our way is the only or right way. Uh, with my career in business and law, I am a big supporter of consumer choice and I have on many occasions pointed out the various challenges and deficiencies that both consumers and creators face in regards to the manufacturing industry. I present the facts and will continue to do so in these areas. There is also a childhood memory that is so firmly etched in my mind, which is why I choose to be tolerant of other people's consumer choices, even when I don't perhaps agree with it. I grew up living in a street where there was lots of other children to play with and it was the early 80s when Barbie dolls were massive. It was every little girl's dream to receive a Barbie doll uh, as a gift under the Christmas tree and I remember being so excited about receiving my Barbie doll and I couldn't wait to go out and play with the other kids in the street with my new Barbie doll. And all the girls in our street, they all received a Barbie doll except for one girl who received a cheap knockoff Barbie. But she was so excited about her doll and she had no idea that it wasn't a real Barbie. She didn't have a clue to her it was a Barbie. She was so excited about her doll and just completely clueless. And I remember my mum coming out to have a chat with some of the other mothers on the street. And I whispered to her, I said, Mum, Amanda keeps calling her doll a Barbie, but it's not a real Barbie. And I'll never forget, my mother told me to keep quiet and that we would talk about it later when we got home. Now, when we got home, my mother explained to me that with Amanda's mother being a single mum, she often struggled financially to support her children. And that knockoff doll was the best that she could afford for her daughter. She told me it would be cruel to reveal the truth and to burst Amanda's bubble. And I was told to leave Amanda to believe the doll was a real Barbie because telling her the truth would be hurtful, plus disrespecting her mother, who was doing everything that she could to give her kids the best Christmas that she could afford. 
So I learned a very valuable life lesson from that experience. In life, we may find ourselves in situations where we are presented with something that may not align with our moral views. And there are two ways to respond. The first being kind and respectful and minding our own business, or the second being nasty and character assassinating and destroying another person's reputation or happiness. For me personally, I choose kindness every single time. So that's why at our channel, we choose to be less judgmental and inclusive. We feel very blessed and fortunate to be in the position to afford the dolls that we have in our collection. And we enjoy our expensive, authentic, reborn doll art, but under no circumstances would we ever character assassinate someone else who chooses to explore less expensive alternative consumer options. We simply do not care what the reborn community thinks is morally right. I would never stoop so low to verbally attack vulnerable people in our society like the elderly, those with mental health issues or those who are financially challenged because they own knockoff dolls. When I see that mean and toxic behaviour from certain individuals in the reborn community, it just repulses me to my very inner core. And I'm honestly secondhand embarrassed for the community when I see that uh, inappropriate behaviour. Okay, time to get this little gorgeous man dressed in his new little outfit. Oh, what a cutie pie. Yes, so where was I? Oh, so as I was saying, Totty and I had quite an in-depth conversation about our recent experience. And we've come to the conclusion that we personally find that toxic behaviour from certain individuals from the reborn community is far more repulsive than individuals exercising their freedom of consumer choice and going for a cheaper product option. We also want to make it crystal clear that we will not allow egotistical individuals from the reborn community dictate to us who my daughter and I can or cannot follow on social media. This is not the communist republic of the doll community. We'll follow who we please. So moving forward, we have tweaked and freshened up some of the branding on our online platforms so that people will have a clear understanding of what our online platforms offer. Totty and I are doll collectors. We collect many types of different dolls, many of which we haven't even featured on our channel yet. We love and collect all kinds of different dolls and we do not belong to any specific part of the doll community. We are doll collectors. Although we have met some truly lovely, lovely people from the reborn community in the last 18 months, on too many occasions we have seen some incredibly disgusting behaviour from individuals from this community and from a legal and business perspective I have raised my eyebrows on one too many occasions at some of the uh, unprofessionalism from this industry slash community honestly I could write a book on it so this is why we recently made the decision to tweak our branding so that viewers can clearly see that both Totty and I are doll collectors, we're not just reborn collectors. Moving forward, our viewers are also going to see that when we feature a reborn doll on our channel, we will be focusing more on crediting the individual reborn artists for their work and there will be less of a focus on the sculpt artists. Since we ventured into collecting reborn dolls some 18 months ago, it's really bothered me how the majority of the credit of a doll is given to the sculpt artist 
and very little credit is given to the reborn artist. I see this far too often when reborn dolls are put up for sale or when showcased on social media platforms. It is a common occurrence where the reborn artist gets no mention. The reborn hobby started well before sculpt artists became involved with selling their kits, with individual artists reborning Behringer dolls, etc. So moving forward, we're going to take a more balanced approach and we're going to make sure that when we showcase a reborn doll, that the reborn artist is getting the appropriate credit. Oh, look at little BJ. He looks so adorable in this outfit. Oh, this is so summery. Look, he's got his little summer hat on. There's the little Peter Pan collar. Oh my goodness, he is just so scrumptious in this outfit. Oh, he's such a cutie pie. Look at him. So last but not least is sweet Freya Noel. Her reborn artist is Eileen Kachia, and she is the Tibby standing sculpt by Donna Rubert. So moving forward, viewers will also notice the two particular sculpt artist names will not be mentioned on our channel. During the recent bullying incident, it came to my attention that these two sculpt artists publicly applauded and encouraged certain individuals for their bullying behaviour on their online platforms. I'm so appalled by this unprofessional behaviour of those two sculpt artists, so never again will they receive any credit for their sculpts on our channel. I had always previously defended sculpt artists saying that they would never behave in such an appalling way and that collectors in the reborn community should follow their lead. Well, recently I've seen something very different with my own two eyes. So the free credit those sculpt artists received in the past for their work on our channel has come to an end. Although our channel was recently singled out, unlike many others who commented on uh, Spring Flowers A Dolly box opening video, we were very fortunate that we did not personally receive any hateful messages from individuals. Not a single one. Although I'm not really that surprised because when it comes to intellectual property rights and protections, and how the business sector works. I'm not only suitably qualified, but I also have the relevant work experience to know my stuff. Unlike these misinformed individuals who keep creating drama about their moral beliefs. One day, hopefully, the penny will drop and they will finally realise that their moral crusade isn't working, especially when they bully and harass people. Hopefully, at the same time, they will also realise their own hypocrisy. Honestly, if I was given a dollar every single time I saw a reborn channel preaching on behalf of sculpt artists, condemning knockoff dolls, but then proceed to upload content of themselves shopping for products at some of the biggest knockoff retail stores, I would be a millionaire. I just groan and roll my eyes. Like, seriously, are they that ignorant that they don't understand the buying consumer goods from Walmart, Dollar Tree, etc., etc.? It's the same thing. It's supporting counterfeit and copycat products, just different manufacturing industries. Walmart founder Sam Walton even wrote in his book Made in America that he built his entire retail empire almost entirely off other companies' good ideas. In fact, he quoted, most everything I've done, I've copied from someone else. It's an unfortunate reality but copycat products happen in every single manufacturing industry. But according to certain individuals in the reborn community, apparently they are the only ones affected by it. This type of hypocrisy is just mind blowing. 
All I can say is that before you morally lecture someone else about their consumer choices, I suggest you take a look at yourself first. So moving on to our dog collecting hobby, Totty and I imagine that we will continue to collect some reborn dolls in the future, but we will also continue to expand our doll collection hobby with other types of dolls. As I've mentioned, we love to collect a wide range of dolls. So for those new here today joining us, we're going to give you a brief rundown about what we are all about. I'm Kitty and with my daughter Totty, we are a doll collecting duo from Australia. Our online social media platforms are dedicated to our love of dolls and creating fun and positivity in the doll community. Although we have a small collection of nine reborn dolls, we also collect many other kinds of dolls and we do not affiliate ourselves with the reborn doll community as we are doll collectors. We upload videos every Sunday onto YouTube, Australian Eastern Standard Time, plus during the week if we have something fun to share. And we also share photos of our dolls on Instagram. We are an inclusive platform and we promote fun, kindness and a safe place for other doll collectors to enjoy their hobby. So I'm going to speed up the video of me dressing little Freya because I want to get on and introduce you to some other dolls. Freya is such a little chunky monkey like she's tricky to dress it takes a lot of hard work to dress this girl Freya Noel is actually the only reborn toddler doll in our collection we're hoping to change that we really would like to add a few more reborn toddlers to our collection but we'll just have to see what comes up between now and the end of the year Oh, look at little Freya Noel. She looks adorable in this dress with the little pink frilly socks. Here we go. Let's do a once over. Oh, she is so pretty. She looks like a princess. What a precious girl. I absolutely love the gorgeous butterfly details in this dress. It's just stunning. Oh, look at Bonnie Bell and Benjamin James. They look so sweet in their new summer outfits. So let me introduce you to some of our other dollies who have joined us here today. So as I mentioned before, we collect all kinds of different dolls and there are many that we've not yet shown on our channel. For example, here are a couple of our Cabbage Patch dolls. They're vintage ones. I started collecting Cabbage Patch dolls way back in the 80s. And the one in the center there with the blonde hair, now her name is called Ruby. And I received her as a Christmas gift from my parents way back in 1985. And this little boy over here, he's one of my favorites. He's my Jesmar boy from Spain. Serious collectors know that the Jesmars are one of the more desirable CPKs to have in a collection. And just like all the other dolls in our nursery, there's a lovely story behind each of these dolls, but that could potentially be another story for another time, depending on if we have any viewers interested in CPK dolls. Let us know if you do in the comments. Did you know that the Cabbage Patch dolls were a stolen idea? That's right. Xavier Roberts, the creator of the Cabbage Patch Kids dolls, apparently copied the idea from folk artist Martha Nelson Thomas, although he's never admitted it. Uh, Martha, unfortunately, never copyrighted her product. So Xavier copied her concept and then copyrighted it for himself. Very, very clever businessman he was. And he had the dolls mass produced and obviously the rest is history. Now, Thomas sued Roberts and eventually they settled out of court in 1985. But I think this demonstrates the importance of protecting one's work. There is just something so magical about Cabbage Patch dolls. I instantly fell in love with them, you know, decades ago. They are just so gorgeous to collect. 
Anyway, we really appreciate you being here today and we hope you enjoyed seeing a couple of our CPK dolls and some of our Reborn dolls dressed in their summer outfits. If you did, please remember to give us a thumbs up because it really helps us out. Blessings to all our dear Dolly friends wherever you are in the world. We love you and look forward to you joining us in our next video. Bye until then. Bye everyone.